now. From Lakes Area Local Access Television, your best choice for local news and information in the Glacial Lakes region. This is Lakes Area News with Chelsea Nelson. Who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? See how technology is changing the way we take care of our senior patients from the comfort of their homes, thanks to the internet. Using the latest technology called Grand Care, patients can live in their homes safely and for as long as possible. Daphne Carpen is with Knut Nelson Home Care and is thrilled to use this cutting edge technology. Knut Nelson has chosen to embrace technology as part of their care package. Um, continuum wide. So we have units in family residences, we have units in our facilities, and throughout our 26 county home care footprint. Uh, we use telehealth and tech home care and hospice both. Um, for hospice we're using it um, for end of life so family can have a remote conversation um, via Skype with a son that lives in California. Um, they can receive letters and pictures from family that's far away as part of the life review um, for, for as they're going through the dying process. Erwin has been a farmer and lived in Kensington all his life. Now for the past two months, he is using technology in ways he never thought he would to help him with his diabetes. I was leery. I didn't think I could handle it. And now what do you think? Oh, yeah, it's getting easier and easier every day, you know. Yeah, it's easier now, much easier. Now he can monitor his glucose levels efficiently from home and send the results in remotely to his nurses. I poke my finger and I put enter that into the on the strip and press a few buttons and and it comes up on the screen. <laughs> Just like that. Katie Brune is a nurse who helps patients understand the new technology, which is changing and improving the role of home care providers. I think with um, this population, their children are very technology savvy or getting to be technology savvy. So it's nice and convenient for a family member to be alerted on their iPhone that, you know, dad is safe, their blood sugars are good today, there's no emergencies that they need to be aware of. You know, kids are scattered, they're not um, in one common small town anymore. Um, so it gives the opportunity for the kids to stay involved and aware of what's going on at home without having to physically be here every day. The Grand Care system becomes like a personal in-home nurse available 24-7, helping to instantaneously send data remotely back to the home health office. We have a staff of RNs and each staff manages case manages a client. So Erwin has his own nurse, Christy, and every day she logs into the secure website to look at his vital signs and see how his sugars are looking, um, anything else that he's doing on the unit as far as assessments, that kind of thing. Erwin uses it primarily for monitoring his glucose levels, but it can check for much more pneumonia, COPD, even chronic heart failure. Based on that data, they're able to then try and determine if he's doing okay or if they need to make earlier calls to the doctor with the thought that we're going to prevent rehospitalizations and we're going to catch changes in condition earlier than we might have otherwise caught them. Um, and that ultimate re results in a cost savings for the entire healthcare system as well as the individual. Additionally, sensors can be placed around the home to monitor activity of patients to add an extra layer of security. We also have censored capabilities, so if we're concerned that son or um, daughter is worried that dad is going to walk out of the house in the middle of the night, we're able to put a sensor on the outside door that alerts to um, various family members, a tree of family members via phone, text, email, um, and family members really like that as they're on the go and busy with their lives. They're able to kind of keep a little bit closer tabs and monitor for safety. Though the technology was intimidating at first, Erwin quickly caught on, and now he has a whole new world at home. There's a lot of things on there. I mean, it's, I haven't even started learning it. <laughs> but the main thing, I think, was the blood sugar. And, uh, and of course, there's music on there, and then there's world news, and there's weather, and <laughs> everything that I haven't, didn't know. <laughs> If I bring it out, I don't ever call it a computer. I say, we're gonna bring you a, a thing that looks like a big picture frame, and it's gonna show you pictures of the grandkids, and you're gonna be able to talk to your daughter a little bit more often, um, and then we start there. 
For Irwin's wife, May, it's good for both of them to have him home. More relaxing, and there isn't always the tension of having to get up and get going to town for appointments, and it's just very good to have, have it in the house, and it's good for him. And for her husband, home is where he needs to be. Because I know him, and it just, he wouldn't survive. It's as simple as that. Here he can sit on the deck or in his chair and look out over the lake, and bird watching has become a highlight, and we have all our pine trees, and so we get a lot of birds. It's just peaceful. Times are changing, but in a good way, as technology helps empower people to live independently at home for as long as they can using innovative smart home technology. For more information about Grand Care, visit KnutNelson.org. It's pretty amazing how much a difference technology can make, no matter what your age.